Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dr. Tim Liptrap and we are here in our valuation of future cash flows chapter of our principles of finance class. We're looking at a problem set of present value and multiple cash flows. We're going to do two problems in this particular uh, video and I'm going to show you how I designed an Excel spreadsheet. This is relatively simple so just follow along and you should be fine so long as you plug and you play. Which I mean by that is you plug in the numbers and then you get the answers. So XYZ company has identified an investment project with the following cash flows at a discount rate of 10%. Okay, just keep in mind the discount rate is essentially the cost of money. That's the cost of money that we're using to pay for this particular project. Or if you want to turn it the other way, it's interest. The interest that we're paying. So year number one, we're going to bring in cash flows into our accounts at $500. We're going to get paid $650 in year two, $750 in year three, and $875 in year four. So what they'd like to know is what are the cash flows total at a discount rate of 10%. The equation that we're going to use is PV, present value, is equal to future value over 1 plus R, which is in this particular case is the rate to the T, which is, happens to be the time, the number of years. So we're setting it up at PV at 10% is equal to, very simple, you just put this number, 500, over 110, because that's 10%. Then you're going to take 650, which is the second year, and you're going to put it over 110 to the second. Two to the second is for the second year. 750 for one over 110 to the third, and 875 over 110 at the fourth, and it equals 212526. Relatively simple. Now let me just show you this on the Excel format. So what I've done here and I'm going to just plug in some numbers. We have 500, 650, 750, 875, and then these are going to be zeros. I'm going to just put zeros over here as well. Okay. So what I have here, what I've designed, is a very simple Excel spreadsheet. I typed in year one through year eight over here. Then what I did was I just, these are standing numbers, so they can be changed as you wish. So you can change to whatever you'd like. Up above here in this B3, I put a percentage. That is the current percentage that we're looking at. 10%, 8%, 12%, whatever. That is where you can put that number. What I did here, was I took B5 over 1 plus B3. So remember, we have to add the 1. So if you look at the formula, it is this number here in blue divided by B1 plus B3. B3 happens to be the, the multiplier or the percentage rate. So then this one is just a continuation. So it's taking year 2, which is B6, divided by 1 to B3. Now, if we pull this out, so I pull this formula bar out here. We're going to pull this out here, and you can actually see that I put the little up arrow to the second. Then if we do here, you can see I did the same thing to the third, and it corresponds to the year. So what this does is this calculates it out for us, and then I get a total at the end. So to do this problem right here, it's 215286. Okay, very simple. If I needed to find what the 5% number is, all I do is change to the 0 0.05 and everything changes. If I want to see what the 12% number is, 0 0.12. This will do the mathematical problem for you once you design it. It should take all of five minutes and it'll save you a lot of time. Now, what this number is here is I have, I want the total. so. If you look, this is equal to this particular column right here, C5. But then I want to have a running total. So this, where my mouse is, is so let me show you how I do this. This right here is equal to this number, the one above it, plus the new one. So I just have a kind of a running total. And all I did was I carried it down and it gives me the running total. 
So then I copied it over so I can do multiples at the same time. Okay. So that's the first problem. The second problem of the set is where we're going to get into this. This is says investment X offers to pay you $5,700 per year for eight years, whereas Y offers to pay you $7,700 per year for five years. Which of the following cash flow streams has a higher percentage value of the discount rate if it's at 5% or if the discount rate's at 15%? We are going to use a very similar program. It's called the PVA, and that's the present value annuity is equal to C, and C happens to be the number right here, the cash flow. And it's 1 minus the 1 over the 1 plus the R to the T divided by the R. And you can see the formula here. And you can see how that works. Now, I would like to show you this. I'm going to take the 5700 right here. And I'm going to take 57 from up here. And we want to do a comparison. So I am going to come back to my piece here, paste 5700 in, and I'm going to carry it down for eight years if you're watching my screen. Now, I get the number. It automatically carried it for me. Then the other one. I can go back to this was 7700 for five years so we're gonna go back here to 77 for five years paste it right in you can see why my Excel spreadsheet is great and I believe that was at five percent let me just double check that the question was for at five percent which of these cash flow streams is a higher percentage value the discount rate is five percent we just come back here and now we have our answer it would be the 5700 for eight years if you look at the number right here now the next part of the question is what if it's at 15 percent so by having the excel spreadsheet designed all i need to do is is do the same equation 0 0.15 0 0.15 and everything changes and you can see that the total over here on the second one the 7700 for five years is it better cash flow stream? Okay. So that's how we do this problem. You could do it this way right here, and you could put it in, and here is, and you can see how this is designed right in here, or you can run it right into an Excel formula, whatever way works for you.